Welcome to the Full Earth Workshop. My name is Doug, and today a fun Lionel project. This is a post-war Lionel NW2 engine, 6220, and we are going to be replacing the coil coupler. On this very nice example, we're talking 68 years old. The front coupler has survived the years just fine. However, the rear coupler, probably the more important one, is missing a few of the solenoid parts. So that one is going to need to be replaced. You can see the beautiful craftsmanship of these engines. This was the best NW2 that was made. It originally came out in 1954, and Lionel, you know, like most other manufacturers, tends to cost reduce as the time goes on. This one had a working physical bell in it and beautiful exterior details such as railing and these really nice clasps that hold the body into place. After 70 years, most of these engines don't even have cracks in the shell. The Lionel 6220 and 622 are actually the same engine. As this particular model got laid into production, they just took the 027 and the O gauge variants and just blended them together. My brother Dave had the Lionel 613, which was a 1958 only variation of this engine. This one is my favorite because of the cast chassis, but everything else on this is ultimate quality. Take a look at this power truck. Everything is heavy metal. Hey, if you're going to be working on these, I highly recommend this book, Greenberg's Repair and Operating Manual for Lionel Trains. It has exploded views of virtually everything done in the post-war era, and I find these things indispensable to use when you're working on any of these. The 6220 motor is huge huge. You can see why they're running after 70 years. Compare these to the modern DC CAN motors. There's a real big size and weight difference and that's one of the things that makes this locomotive a really good puller. I doubt that this power truck has ever been serviced before because it is a little bit hesitant when I run the gears back and forth. So we're going to take that apart in another episode and uh, do some service on that. But for now, let's turn our attention to the rear coupler. You'll notice that this coupler is missing a few parts and we're just going to replace it from a donor. I found a donor on eBay. It's a similar dummy donor, but it has the coil unit that we need. We're going to take that working and complete coil and repurpose it in our power truck. You know, this era of parts are so impressive, you almost want to shine them up and put them on your desk. There's such an impressive finish and weight to them. Since many of these trains have been put away for so long, you can expect them to not want to work correctly right away. So a good spray of WD-40 is going to help to loosen this thing up so that solenoid will slide back and forth when power is applied. Believe it or not, Lionel still sells the long rivet that is needed here. And I want to make sure that it's as original as possible. So until I get that, I'm just going to fasten it using this screw washers and a nut. And as we see, it's working great. Now don't forget to hook up that little lone wire and make sure you solder it into place. It will work just perfectly. In the next episode, we're going to be taking a look at that 70 year old motor. We're going to take it apart refurbish it and it will be running like new. We'll see you then.